All right, someone asked me about this the other day at work, so I thought I might make for some uh, fun PowerPoint presentation practice. How to calculate simple average versus weighted average. Uh, simply put, simple average just divides everything evenly by the total items, whereas weighted average considers whether any item is worth more than the other. So as an example, say you have one test and three students. To get the average, you just sum all three of those numbers up, divide by the number of items, in this case it's three, for an average of 81. Another example, let's just say you have the same three students, three tests. Uh, it really depends on what you want to do here. If you want to find out the average score for student A, for instance, you just add all his tests together, divide by three, get an average 89. Conversely, if you want to know the average of test one, you just add the test scores of all three students, divide by three for an average of 81. If you want to know the average overall score of how everyone did on the test, especially if the tests aren't weighted, then you just add it all up and divide by nine for an average of 74. Now, weighted average. If test one is weighed 10%, test two is 20%, and the final 70%, uh, how would you calculate the average across multiple tests? Well, this is where you just do a sum product where you multiply the score on the first test by the weight, score on the second test by the weight, and then lastly, score on the third test by the weight. When you do that, you get 8, 18, 66, and when you sum it all up, you get a total of 93 out of 100. So, wrapping it all up, if you were to look at all three students, all three tests, if you look at the simple average of, say, student B, the simple average would give him a score of 60 for the whole test, uh, not test, school period, if you will, right? But if you looked at something like the weighted average, his score would actually be much lower, a 32. Why is that the case? Because similar to how things are in college in real life, the first two tests tend to be a lot less than the final because he scored really well on the two tests, but really, really bad on the first test, essentially failed it. It pulled his whole average down, especially so, especially given the uh, weight on the third test. All right, one last example for weighted average, average price of stocks. Let's just say you uh, bought a bunch of stocks and you wanna kinda know what the average price is. What you'd have to do is you'd have to separate out the different purchase events uh, by the quantity and the cost, and then once again, do the sum product. So first you take the first one, you multiply the 10 uh, shares of stock that you bought by the cost, $2. So I guess here it'd be better, 0.2. Then you do the second one, 100 shares for $5, add it up for a total of 520, and then you divide it by the total number of shares for a weighted average of 473. And so that is how a weighted average works. Hopefully that helps you out.